Let's move on to main topic number three, shall we? And our third main topic today gets submitted to us by Randy Tolliver. And Randy writes, Hey, John and Rob. In a new interview, Zack Snyder revealed that having Joker in Justice League was never his original plan. I know some people have been insisting that it was, but Zack Snyder just confirmed that it wasn't. With it now being confirmed that stuff is going into this new version that was never in the original plan, should we even be calling it the Snyder Cut anymore? Thanks. All right. Thanks a lot for sending that in. And uh, yes, Zack Snyder just recently did an interesting interview where he was asked directly about, you know, Jared Leto's coming in. Had you shot stuff with him before? Was it always in the original plan? And he pretty much directly said, no, it was never part of the original plan. But he did indicate that it was something that was kind of floating around in the back of his mind and something that he had considered and thought about. This is what Snyder said directly. He says, this was one of the things that in the years since I've kind of boiled on and kind of said like, this would be a cool thing to do. I'll be honest. I never thought the opportunity would come. And thanks to the fans, of course, and this whole journey, it's happened, which is insane. All right. So we know that Joker was never part of the original plan and that he was. There are some people, Rob, who thought, and there is some basis to think this. There were some people who thought that Zack Snyder had always shot something with the Joker as a callback to that jokes on you, Batman on the Robin costume and all that kind of stuff. Um, so that's not totally unreasonable to suspect that, but he's put that to rest. He was never in it in the original thing, never did it, blah, 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 all that stuff. All right. So can we, now that it's established, and Rob, we've been saying for a while that this is probably going to look, this is going to look different than what the original edit that Zack Snyder took and showed to Warner Brothers executives before he departed the project so many years ago, that this was ultimately not really going to be that original vision. And now it's pretty much confirmed. It's not what the original vision was. So can we still call it the Snyder Cut if it's actually different than what that original thing was? Rob, to me, I'm just going to parrot here something that I said a few weeks ago. I believe you can still call it the Snyder Cut, even if it's not the original vision. Why? Because of this. Any, and again, I've mentioned this before, but any filmmaker that makes a movie particularly and specifically when we're talking about larger tentpole kind of films like a Justice League, like a Star Wars movie, like a James Bond movie, whatever. Any big movie right now in, in today's filmmaking age, they always, always plan for, schedule, budget, and a lot time for pickup shooting and reshoots. Kevin Feige speaks very directly about this, that every Marvel movie plans this in advance because he described, you know, it's once you get in the editing room and you start seeing how it's actually coming together. Like when you read it on a page, it's one thing, but when you actually see it starting to piece together, you can start to think, oh, we've got a little bit of a better idea or, oh, that didn't work the way we thought it would or whatever. So you always plan little bits of reshoots, right? Every director on big tent pole projects are given that opportunity. I don't see why, if you're going to let Zack Snyder pick up Snyder Cut, I don't see why you don't allow Zack Snyder that same opportunity. Yes, the original promise of the idea of the Snyder Cut was that, hey, he's got this cut, put it out. The original vision of what he originally shot. All I'm saying is, had he never left the project, at some point, he would have been given an opportunity a couple of months after shooting is all done to go back, get on a set, have a couple of million extra bucks, do some pickup shooting, add a few things, take out a few things. He would have been given that opportunity like any other director. And therefore, I propose that had he never left the project, the Justice League that hit theaters would have been a little bit different since he would have done some reshooting than what he originally edited together and showed the Warner Brothers executives so many years ago. That was like a four hour cut. And so, yes, on the one hand, it is true. This version of Justice League we're gonna see is not going to be identical to what the original Snyder Cut was. But to me, it is still the Snyder Cut 
because it's hit just him doing some reshoots that any other director would have been given the opportunity to do anyway. So yeah, it's different, but yeah, it's still Snyder cut. So I believe both statements are true. Rob, we're now hearing Snyder confirming, yeah, there's, there's, this is absolutely new material that was never part of the original vision. Can you still st call it Snyder Cut? Yes, <laughs> because whatever it is, it's, it's, it's Justice League. There was one Justice League that Joss Whedon finished. Now there's a different iteration of that Justice League that Zack Snyder's finishing. I mean, I, I, I think that it's semantics. Does it really matter? I mean, every movie these days has been doing pickups or reshoots or whatever you want to call them. And if he's, if he's shooting some additional material to fill in the gaps, somebody pointed out, I read somebody said, and this is, I think this is a good theory that we see at the beginning of Batman V Superman, that Wayne Manor is burned to the ground. And we know that Robin is dead. I love the idea that we're going to see a flashback sequence of the Joker burning down Wayne Manor and killing Robin. And I, I just think to be that, clear, we don't know that that's what he's filming. Just yeah, to be we clear. don't know. Yeah, yeah just I have to no be clear. idea if that's what he's doing. No clue. But I love that idea because it harks back to the other work that Zack Snyder has done with Ben Affleck's Batman, and it would offer some real insight into the character. And it would it would it's a nice callback to image imagery we've seen in Batman v Superman that I. I liked and was intrigued by. And um, all of this is just enhancing Zach's vision. And I think it's all part of the process of going back. Like, look, you and I were saying from the beginning that there is no, because the when we were saying that there was no Snyder cut, it's because we were, there were people laboring under the false impression that there was a movie that was just a few weeks away from being finished. And you and I both know that that wasn't the case. That's not how movies are made. You don't just abandon a film that's almost ready to go out. No, they were deep into post, but they had another eight months of work to do. And as we pointed out, millions more dollars worth of work. They're going to put $100 million into this when all is said and done. And they're creating something that is not just a cut because he's been refining it the whole time. This is something that's new. It's a hybridized thing. I mean, I think it's quite exciting, to be honest. It's going to be four hours long. Uh, I, I mean, we're getting what we're getting is somebody that was able to revise and enhance and finish their original iteration of something. So, I mean, it's more of a, it's not so much a new cut as it is maybe a reimagining, but it's not really a reimagining because they only had to work with what was already shot. Like Zack Snyder himself said, there's only like four minutes of material from these pickups. And I think it's, it's more a, you know, it's like a writer being able to do a final revision on their novel. And that's kind of what this is. And I, I, I think it's really exciting. It's never really been done before. And John, I, I gotta tell you, it's, I, for me, it's one of the highlights of 2021. I'll tell you. I really believe that. Well, I mean, I'm one of the rare, I'm one of the few people out there that I was excited about the Jared Leto thing right away because I'm one of the very few human beings that actually really like Jared Leto's Joker and so Suicide Squad. And so I, I get that extra little kick out just because I, I never thought, I mean, listen, I had, I had given up on the idea that we were ever going to see Jared Leto's Joker back in there again. And I really do quite like his Joker. Not as, not as much as Heath's, not as much as Joaquin's, but I really like his Joker for what it is. And I, I just got excited about the idea we were going to see him again. Well, I look, I think if you look at the trailers for suicide squad, they did Jared Leto's Joker dirty. There was clearly yeah. a lot more filmed of his character. I'm sure he did a lot more work than we saw in the film. So the idea that we're going to have him do more, and if it is a pivotal scene where we do see him burn down Wayne Manor and kill Robin or whatever, I just like that idea. I think that makes sense. I, I think that's definitely worth doing. And obviously, the Suicide Squad, Ayer's Suicide Squad, does exist in the same universe as Batman v Superman because we saw Affleck's Batman in that movie. So I love it. I mean, so I just I just think what everything that's going on with the with the Zack Snyder Justice League, call it his Snyder cut, his his revision, whatever you, we're going to wind up calling it. I just think it's cool that we're getting it. So here's a question. Let's say, uh, by the way, for the record, I don't think 
what he's going to be shooting is to show the flashback of him killing joke or him killing robin or anything like that it's a possibility though but here's yeah. a question if they do make jared leto's appearance to show a flashback of joker killing robin do they get chris o'donnell to play robin that's i i think that's the question does chris o'donnell come come in to no. play robin <laughs> no 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 really no 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 it's absolutely not all right question here is guys what do you think about this whole situation jump on down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts all right guys